Welcome to MD Conversation. This module provides an overview of breast biopsy, a procedure used to evaluate breast lumps. Other modules are available that describe other aspects of breast health. This information is taken from a recent review of the medical literature and attempts to be as transparent and comprehensive as possible. However, it may not necessarily reflect the experience of your healthcare provider or the specifics of your situation. This program is strictly informational in nature, and no attempt is made to provide opinion or recommendation. Please feel free to view this presentation as many times as necessary. You may also use the player on your left to repeat slides or skip through them in any order you wish. Last year in Canada, over 5,000 women and men lost their lives to breast cancer. Breast cancer is the leading cause of early death in this country. However, it can be detected early and can be treated effectively. A woman's breast is composed of glands that produce milk, ducts that transport milk, supportive connective tissue, a nipple and surrounding areola, and fat, which gives the breast its size and shape. Most women experience periodic changes in the shape and contour of their breasts, such as a lump or lumpy area, a thickening of the breast tissue, an area that feels different, discharge from the nipple, indentation of the nipple, puckering or dimpling of the breast skin, a change in breast shape, or pain. Sometimes, a change in the breast can indicate a health problem, such as breast cancer. Although this will not be true in most cases, it is very important that all breast changes be investigated. For if cancer is found, the earlier it is detected, the better the chance of effective treatment. If you feel a lump in your breast or notice any other change in your breast, don't panic. If you are due to start your next menstrual period within a week or so, wait until after it is finished. Many non-cancerous lumps will go away by themselves with menstruation. If the lump persists after your period, see your doctor. The majority of breast lumps are not cancerous, but it's important to have them checked out by a doctor. Your doctor can help ease your fears, and if it turns out that an area in your breast is indeed cancerous, by seeing your doctor early, you will speed up the process of diagnosis and treatment. A doctor evaluates a breast lump by asking you your medical history, giving you a thorough physical exam, sometimes performing diagnostic imaging tests, and sometimes sampling breast tissue through a biopsy. Doctors differ slightly in how they addressed breast lumps, and each patient's situation is unique. Your doctor will begin by asking you some questions about the lump and about your medical history, such as, When did you first notice the lump? Has the lump changed in size? Have you recently experienced injury to the breast? Have you noticed a change in the number of lumps you can feel? Have you noticed any nipple discharge? When was your last period? Have you recently been pregnant? Are you breastfeeding? Do you or your family have a history of breast problems, other medical conditions, or cancer? Are you on any medication, including hormone replacement therapy? And, have you had a mammogram, other breast imaging test, or a biopsy before? Next, your doctor will perform a clinical breast exam to thoroughly investigate the breasts and surrounding areas. The doctor will note the shape and size of the breasts, feel the breasts and armpits for any lumps or areas of thickness, and check the breasts for any skin or nipple abnormalities. You might need to raise your arms, place your hands on your hips, or lie down during this exam so that the breasts can be examined from different angles. This exam usually takes several minutes. Then. To get a closer, more detailed look at any breast abnormality suspected, your doctor will likely recommend a diagnostic imaging test, such as a mammogram, an x-ray of the breast, and or an ultrasound, which is imaging using sound waves. 
Sometimes, diagnostic imaging gives your doctor enough information about the breast abnormality to confirm that it is benign, and you may need no further tests. Other times, however, more information about the abnormality is required and a biopsy is recommended. A biopsy is the removal of a sample of tissue or fluid to be examined for signs of cancer. It is used to confirm a diagnosis before a treatment plan is made. A biopsy involves a team of healthcare professionals, including your family doctor, a radiologist, a doctor who specializes in diagnostic imaging, a surgeon, a pathologist, a doctor who examines tissue under a microscope for signs of cancer, a technologist, and or a nurse. Your family doctor, radiologist, or surgeon will perform the biopsy and send the tissue samples to a pathologist for examination. There are two general types of breast biopsies, those done using a needle and those requiring surgery. Needle biopsies are minimally invasive procedures, meaning that they remove only a small amount of breast tissue and cause little scarring or pain. These take only a short time, from 10 minutes to an hour, and are virtually always done with local anesthesia or freezing. Needle biopsies can be performed in a clinic, doctor's office, or surgical center. Surgical biopsies, on the other hand, remove a larger tissue sample. They too can be done with local anesthesia, depending on the patient's and or doctor's preference. There are small but slightly higher risks in surgical biopsy than in needle biopsy. However, more accurate tissue sampling can be achieved. Surgical biopsies can be performed in a clinic or hospital. Until about a decade ago, most breast biopsies were surgical. Today, however, many patients are candidates for the less invasive needle biopsies. Currently, physicians have access to a variety of biopsy equipment, some of them revolutionizing traditional techniques with their ease of use and improved accuracy. Newer needle biopsy equipment is providing patients with safe, reliable, accurate, faster, and less invasive alternatives to surgery. There are three types of needle biopsy. Fine needle aspiration biopsy, or FNAB for short, core needle biopsy, and directed vacuum assisted biopsy, or DVAB for short. The next few slides will discuss these in more detail. Fine needle aspiration biopsy, the least invasive, uses a very narrow needle to remove a small amount of tissue or fluid. It is the fastest and easiest method of breast biopsy, only taking a few seconds. It does not require stitches and therefore leaves no scar. The disadvantage of FNAB, however, is that for non-cystic lumps, those not comprised entirely of fluid, it provides only a small sample to be analyzed. Not having enough tissue to examine under the microscope could lead to an incomplete diagnosis. Core needle biopsy takes an intermediate-sized sample of tissue and requires a small nick, about half the length of a grain of rice, to be made in the skin. This nick is dressed with a special bandage afterwards, so a skin stitch is not usually required. Core needle biopsy removes more tissue than FNAB and typically takes several samples. Directed vacuum-assisted breast biopsy, or DVAB for short, uses a core needle that incorporates a vacuum to increase the amount of tissue obtained with each sample. Typically, multiple samples are taken. The purpose of core needle and directed vacuum-assisted biopsy is to remove enough tissue to be sufficiently analyzed. Because core needle and directed vacuum-assisted biopsy can take a fairly large sample of tissue, they just might end up taking the majority of a breast lump, which would make finding that same area again later quite difficult. In most cases, therefore, a small metallic clip is placed inside the breast after the biopsy to mark the location of the breast lump. The clip marker is left inside the breast and causes no pain, disfigurement, or harm. 
Surgical biopsy yields the largest breast tissue sample of all the breast biopsy methods and has been called the gold standard of biopsy. While surgery may be the best choice for some patients, it does have disadvantages. Surgery may require skin stitches. It may leave a scar. It carries a slightly higher risk than that of needle biopsy and requires a longer period of recovery. The biopsy method most appropriate for you will depend on the type, size, appearance, and location of the breast abnormality, the preference of the doctor performing the biopsy, the availability of the procedure in your area, the availability of health care staff in your area, your medical history, and sometimes your preference. Once you and your doctor have selected the best biopsy option, there are a few things you can do to help prepare for it. First, follow your doctor's instructions on eating, drinking, and taking certain medications before the procedure. Be sure to let the doctor know if you are taking any blood thinning medication, such as daily aspirin. Also, depending on the type of biopsy performed, you may need to arrange to have a ride home. On the day of the biopsy, wear comfortable clothes, and wearing a two-piece outfit will make changing into the procedure gown easier. Please bring a bra, as breast support is needed after the procedure. You should not wear powder, deodorant, lotion, or perfume under your arms or on your breasts on the day of the biopsy. The specifics of your situation may differ, but the general biopsy procedure begins something like this. When you arrive at the clinic, office, surgery center, or hospital, you will be given some paperwork to sign and will be asked to undress and change into a gown. A needle biopsy takes between 10 and 45 minutes, depending on the type of needle and whether or not image guidance is used. First, the skin on the breast is cleaned and then numbed with an injection of anesthetic. For core needle and directed vacuum-assisted biopsies, a small incision in the breast is made at this stage to accommodate a slightly wider needle. If the biopsy is being done on a lump that can be felt, the doctor will hold the breast lump and aim the needle into it. The biopsy may also use diagnostic imaging guidance, such as X-ray, ultrasound, or magnetic resonance imaging, to help guide the needle into the correct spot. Fluid or tissue from the lump is sampled and then sent to a pathologist for examination under a microscope. A bandage is applied to the needle insertion site, and patients may usually resume normal activities almost immediately. A surgical biopsy takes about 30 to 60 minutes. Depending on your particular situation, you may be given local anesthetic, a sedative, which is medication to make you feel drowsy, or general anesthetic, which is medication that puts you to sleep. The skin on the breast is cleaned and covered with a surgical drape. A small cut is made in the breast, and some breast tissue is removed. In an excisional biopsy, the entire area of concern, along with some surrounding tissue, is removed. And for an incisional biopsy, only part of the area of concern is removed. After the sample is taken, the incision is stitched up, and a dressing and bandage are applied. Depending on the patient, some can return to normal activities the following day. The local and general anesthesia used for breast biopsy ensures that you feel little to no pain. You may, however, feel a slight discomfort or light pressure and perhaps a sharp sting from the initial anesthetic injection. After the biopsy, the breast may be sore and tender and you may be given pain relief medication. Some bruising and swelling of the breast may occur during the first few days after your biopsy. This is normal. A cool or ice pack can help ease discomfort and should be placed on the biopsy site for 15 to 20 minutes when needed. Though pain relief medication will likely be suggested, it is important that you avoid pain medication with acetosilic acid, or ASA, including aspirin. There will be a bandage and tape over your biopsy site. Your doctor will advise you when you may remove the dressing, when you may bathe, 
and when you may resume normal activities and exercise. Contact a doctor if you experience excessive swelling, increased pain, bleeding, drainage, redness, or heat around the biopsy site. After your biopsy, ask as to when you will receive your results and please discuss the biopsy results with your doctor. After a biopsy sample has been tested, it can be classified as benign, which is non-cancerous, non-spreading, and usually non-life-threatening, benign but suspicious, or malignant, which means cancerous and capable of spreading throughout the body. If the biopsy is malignant or suspicious, treatment will be required. Treatment may include surgery, radiation, and or chemotherapy. To summarize, breast biopsies are procedures that take samples from the breast to be tested for cancer. Needle biopsies include fine needle aspiration, core needle, and directed vacuum-assisted biopsies. Needle biopsies are quick and minimally invasive, whereas surgical biopsies take a bit longer and have a few more potential risks associated with them. Surgical biopsy may be considered more accurate by some. New biopsy procedures are being developed, offering patients more choice, though which biopsy method chosen will depend on your situation and your doctor's advice. Other modules in this series include Understanding Breast Lumps, Breast Imaging Through Mammogram, Breast Imaging Through Ultrasound, and Breast Self-Examination. Here are just a few of many resources available to educate you on breast health breast cancer, and breast biopsy. These resources may also assist you. We hope that this program has furthered your understanding of breast biopsy. We wish you the best for the future, and thank you once again for using MD Conversation.